Nintendo 64 came out in 1996. The system was much more powerful than the Super Nintendo, allowing it to support 3D games. Well, unless you consider this as 3D. It was also the first Nintendo system to use those audio, video, AV, cords, or whatever the hell they're called. It also had a whopping 93 point some megahertz compared to the Super Nintendo that only had three. Still not nearly as good as my Intel Core to Extreme, though. Just by looking at the N64, you may notice one somewhat fatal flaw, and that is the controller itself. Thumbstick is just so stiff. And that's the main thing you use to control most of the game. I guess because it was like the first system to use analog stick. Crap, I'd rather just play on an emulator. Otherwise, anything you do with that stick feels very stiff. Maybe it's okay just for walking around a little bit, but not for something like this. But another weird thing about the Nintendo 64 is that it has three handles. Okay, basically, you will probably hold the middle one and the right one. But you can also use the left one instead in case you're left-handed. Left-handed people are the devil! Just joking about that part. Okay, now let's move on to the game. First of all, as I mentioned earlier, the Nintendo 64 can handle 3D games. But also, the games are a lot easier. I've managed to beat Super Mario 64 before, but uh, not games on older systems like the Impossible Super Mario Bros. 3, Battletoad, Ghosts and Goblins, Castlevania. Well, maybe I beat that game with save. And probably even random games like Worm, Journey to the Center of the Earth, whatever that means. Also, most Nintendo 64 games have save functions compared to you die three times and it's game over. Okay, now about the game. My personal favorite games on Nintendo 64 are Super Mario 64, Paper Mario, and 007 Gold. Super Mario 64 is basically, well... Epic game you see right here. Paper Mario is this awesome RPG game that doesn't really have anything to do with this review, but has a good story, music, crappy gameplay. Well, okay. Well, we can get take a look at that another time. But still awesome. And 007 GoldenEye is a really well-made first-person shooter that was like the first truly 3D one. It also involves stealth tactics and stuff and makes you think about things. Do I want to use my silence pistol or do I want to go in guns blazing with my AK-47? It was even rated by ScrewTech the number one FPS game of all time, which I used to agree with. Well, until I played this game. Overall, the Nintendo 64 has good games, lousy controllers, some 3D graphics, and overall, well, of course not as good. Still better than the Xbox 360, though.